This is an instructional video on how to unpair your previously paired Z-Wave devices to your ROS 3001. For this demonstration, I have a ROS 3001, an Aeon Labs controller, an Aeon Labs door and window sensor, an Aeon Labs multi-sensor, and an Aeon Labs power switch. I also have here an iPad Air running the 8.3 version of the ROS companion app, which can be found on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. To begin, from the drop-down menu, you go to Ross Home, then you go to Devices. Here shows you all your paired devices to the system. As you can see, we have a controller, which is the one inserted into the Ross 3001. We have a door sensor, a multi-sensor, and a dimmer right here, which is the power switch. To unpair, it's a very simple procedure. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the controller from the ROS 3001 and we're going to press and hold it for a few seconds. Once we do that, it's going to start flashing rapidly. When it flashes rapidly, it means it's in unpair mode. We can start with the smart switch. To unpair the device, we're just going to go ahead and click on the button one time. Once we do that, you'll notice that it stopped flashing for a second, went solid, and then started to continue to flash. That means that device is now unpaired. Next, we can go ahead and do the multi-sensor. So I'm going to come open it. And I'm going to go ahead and press this black button right here. Press it one time. Again, you'll notice that it stopped flashing. That means this device is now unpaired. Finally, we can do, go ahead and do the door and window sensor. I'm going to click on this button right here to open it. You'll notice that there's a Z-Wave button on top of the device. We're going to go ahead and press that one time. Once we do, again, you'll notice that the rapid flash went solid for a few seconds and then continued to go. That means this device is now impaired. We take our controller, we insert it back into the ROS 3001, and we're going to wait a few minutes for it to configure on its own automatically. Once I insert this stick back into the ROS, and I have unpaired all the different devices. The only thing that should pop up now is controller because that's the only thing paired to the system right now. And the reason it is paired is because we physically inserted it into the system. You'll notice that all the devices that were previously there are gone. If you want to learn how to pair a system, please refer to each individual tutorial video on how to pair that particular system. Very simple and easy to do.